Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and today we're going to work some more on this wintry journal. I know we've been working on this for a while, but it's been a slow process because I've only really been able to work on it when I am um, on here with you guys. So anyways, I mean, I did get the signatures sewn in, so that's a good thing, but I'm a little concerned because uh, she's already a fatty, <laughs> and I don't even have uh, like as much ephemera in here as I would like. I had a couple fat pieces that we made so I think that's kind of part of the problem and plus I put like um, 17 pages in each signature. I got a little a, a little excited I guess. <laughs> so um, yeah like there's this one's real fat. I was gonna make that a you know a belly band but I'm like mm, it's just too fat so I left it or you know glued it all the way down but I did put in a few of the pieces this one is a belly band I need to make something to go behind that and then I put the bag on and I didn't um, leave the bag open at the back either because I figured it's it's good just like it is on this old book page I didn't want to push my luck with the weight on there and that's just clipped in, but it's also kind of fat. And I have my little postcards in, and they have cards. Oh, I know, there was another thing. It's in this side. Um, I need to do something with these. My aunt sent me these um, with a package that she sent, just a bunch of little tags and stuff. These were buttons on here, but they fit really nicely. Because remember, this is the one I ended up gluing down the center. I talked about it when I made it. I didn't glue it on camera. But anyway, I glued around the three edges and then just down the center. So it's two pockets. That's why it has two thumb notches. So I thought those would be good in there, but they need to be, you know, decorated or something. So yeah, we got a few things to do. And it's, oh, wait, I don't like this. And it's just a fatty, fatty, two by four. Actually, I do this side, and I do this side, and then when I set it up, I kind of scooch everything in there a little bit tighter. <laughs> it's fatty. All right, so set that out of the way so I don't get paint or anything on it. I have, this is gonna go in the back pocket. Um, that's a piece of that manila file folder we did the other day. And then I just have um, two book pages glued together that I think I want to put this snow fort image on. And these are both from that Bobsy Twins uh, book that I have. So I'm going to use those, but we're going to, you know, do some other stuff to them. We're not just going to stick them on there like that. I do want to kind of round that. For some reason, that particular corner is bugging me. So if I can, I don't even know it's going to go in there because of the way, yeah. Probably not. I guess I'll just round it with scissors a little bit. Since it's only a one-sided thing, it'll be fine. It just feels really sharp to me right there. So, yeah, I like that better. I might go ahead and do these, too. Just to... Probably should wait till I decorate it, but... Too late now. My kids are here, so if you hear, hear them... They're hanging out. We ha are having the weirdest weather. You know, I was telling you it was like nine degrees and all that around New Year's. It was. It was. It was seven when we got home on New Year's Eve. But then, and we had snow and all that. And then the other night it snowed, and then it started raining because it had warmed up, which was bizarre. Because usually once it's dark, you know, it usually stays cold, that cold or colder. But anyway. And then it started to snow again, so then it was just ice. And then now last night, um, at about six o'clock in the evening, we got snow. And then again, as the evening went on, it warmed up and we ended up getting rain and it hasn't stopped raining. And so it is like literally just a muck hole. I mean, you're just in slop. It's just the biggest mess. <laughs> So I'm hoping it doesn't, I hope it just keeps raining and it's supposed to for the next like week and stays kind of warm so that get rid of the snow entirely because it just makes it impossible and to drive on because it's just literally, you know, you're driving in just deep slush. So yeah, I went to the post office this morning and that wasn't really fun. <laughs> 
I mean, the the main roads are fine because they're all they're just wet from the rain, but um, all the side roads and stuff are just a big fat mess. So yeah, but I know that's that's the way it goes in the winter. But it was it's just a really weird combination of uh, temperature and stuff. It's just strange. Usually this time of the year we, we get snow. So you can see I've been playing with mushrooms again. <laughs> I'm totally hooked on those mushrooms. They're so cute. They're just fun to play with. Um, let's see. What do we want to do on here? I think, do I want to do this before or after I put some other stuff? Maybe after. Because if I put other stuff over the top, it won't make sense. So... So how y'all doing? I hope you're having a good day. I didn't even say that. Just blah, blah, blah me. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all well and healthy and all that good stuff. I guess we've been exposed to COVID, so I'm not real ecstatic about that. We'll see. We shall see what happens. Yeah, um, I guess a friend of ours, who, which I'm concerned about... <laughs> Um, has come down with it and they were at the New Year's Eve deal. So, I mean, we're vaccinated, but I know that doesn't matter really. I mean, you still get it. doesn't really stop it from happening. So, I just hope they're going to be okay too. But yeah, so that's interesting. I want the blue to show, so I may end up tearing it further this way because this is a pretty big piece and I just want, you know, a little bit of that blue to show. I do like the numbers, but I think I'm gonna tear it to those stamps and I'll put, you know, something else on the tab part there. Not quite that crooked, Amy. So at least I am using my uh, piece of file folder <laughs> that I had left over. Go a little bit shorter, I guess. So yeah. I don't know when they, I mean, they found out obviously after New Year's Eve, but I don't know when they were exposed to it. But we can't all stay locked up forever, so I gotta gotta live our lives at least that's the way I feel about it okay what else do we want to put on there maybe some of this textural paper would be fun and then I'll put something all the way across that tab up there any longer? Do I have a longer? I think maybe a longer bit would be good. And I just ran this through um, my embosser once and then I flipped it around because you know those little embossing pockets are only like I think six inches long or something like that. So yeah, they aren't really long enough to go the whole way. I want this side torn too. So yeah. That's how I got that long of a strip, if anybody was wondering. This way or the other way? I kind of like this the brown paper across the bottom for some reason. 
So I think I'll do that. I'll trim it here so that we've got our little tab up here showing. Got to cut some more stuff from the Global Forge today. <laughs> I'm trying to do like a couple days of videos and then I do a day of Global Forge. You know, like I try to split it up so that I'm still getting videos made and all that. I think I'm actually going to take this off even though I like it. So I want it more like that so that we've got kind of a border all the way around sort of thing. So yeah, I need to get some more stuff done. I need to get some more um, numbers cut. I've been just cutting snowflakes. Because <laughs> tis the season, right? For the snowflakes. And I figured out yesterday, it takes me about three hours to do five packets of snowflakes. Isn't that insane? <laughs> Uh, I wish there was a faster way to do that, but there's just not, unfortunately, for me. It's kind of a slow deal. That's probably the only complaint I would have about that uh, machine, is that it's not, it's not a fast thing at all. I mean, it cuts pretty fast, but to do a whole page of snowflakes takes about, uh, one page takes about probably five minutes, roughly. And then, um, you know, I gotta go over and pick each one up. And I'm using tweezers to do that now because that helps my hands. <laughs> and then, um, you know, lay a new play piece, go to the computer, get it printing. It, it's just funny how you would think, oh, you just, it'll, it'll be super fast to cut those. It's not really. It's kind of weird. So, if you, well, I guess why I'm saying that is if you're wondering why on earth I only put like two packets in at a time or two or three or whatever in my shop, it's because it does, it takes a minute to get some done. Okay, so there's that. So that's kind of our background. See, and most of it ends up getting covered up. I might take, ah, get rid of that. A little more of that edge off because I don't need that whole edge, do I? I'd rather see some of that textural paper back there because it's more fun. Cute, cute pictures in that book. I guess I could show you guys which one that is. I don't know where I said it. I moved it because it was sitting right down there, but he's gone. Um, do I want a snowflake under that? Maybe we'll kind of do this too. So we can see more of that. I have this old, um, I can't think of what they're called. It's like it goes in a frame and it has all the different, you know, a mat, <laughs> a mat for a, an old frame. And um, it has, you know, the different size pictures in it. And I don't even remember what in the world was in there, what I got it for or whatever. But anyway, I found it the other day and I was thinking it would be kind of fun to do like all different little mushroom scenes in there. <laughs> so anyway, Let's 
see if I get that accomplished or not. It's always might put another snowflake. Maybe a smaller one would be better. Something like that. And then I think I'll do the um, gesso around there, kind of like I did in the book with the pictures that I used. So I'm gonna glue this down. But yeah, I was just looking at that the other day thinking that would be a fun project. I'll have to find something to back it with. I have to see if I still have the backing piece for it. It was in my attic and I just grabbed it. So I need to go back in there and uh, see if I can find the other piece for it. But that would be kind of a neat thing to do with that instead of throw it in the trash. You know, you keep those things thinking, oh, I'll use this again. And that's the stuff that drives my husband crazy. But then if I end up using it, then I feel better. Because, well, I do it too. Every once in a while I go through that throw everything away mode because I can't stand it. And um, yeah, he's like that too. So it's a wonder anything ever stays around, but there's stuff that floats around for years. As I'm sure you all have that experience at some time or another. And you wonder, you know, there's those items that you're like, oh, why did I get rid of that? That was such a cool thing. And then something like that floats around with you for like 20 years, you know? <laughs> it's like, how? Why do I still have this? <laughs> but I thought at least if I used it for something kind of neat, you know, it might be, might be worth it to have it still. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nutty. I do have some, as of this video, me making this video, I don't know if when you go look if I'll have them, but there are some snowflakes right now in my shop because I just listed three of them, so yeah, but anyhow. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I want to do, oh, I, that's what I wanted to do. And I'll do that before I do the gesso. I wanted to do a little bit of that silver um, watercolor because that looked so cool with that cabinet card. I really liked it on this paper. That paper is just fun to make. So if you have an embossing machine of some kind, or you know a big shot and then those little folders it's really fun to make that it's just with the gesso over the paper let it dry and then run it through there I mean even if you don't have this particular design it doesn't matter it just is really cool I like the gold, but for some reason the silver just looks really good with the snow thing, you know what I mean? So I just kind of liked how it was. It just makes that show up a little bit. And of course gives it some sparkle. So, yeah. Fun little something, huh? A little on there. Put a little on our snowflake. It'll give it a little sparkle too. Doing a lot of sparkly things. I did glitter. I'm doing this <laughs> um, silver paint. But it, it does look really kind of neat. It's a cool effect. Just rinse that off. That's the nice part about watercolor. It's so much easier to clean up after than, um, you know, like acrylics or those other types of paints, like the gesso, for example. I think I'm gonna do, I finally got a palette. <laughs> it's just a little one, a little dinky one, but at least I can sort of do something in it now. 
instead of using my mylar all the time. But the mylar works great. It's just nice to have a spot where it can just sit and it isn't a big deal. I want to do some spatters on there, so I'm going to just get this mixed up and then whatever's left on my this little thing I will put on here as snow. The only thing you have to be really careful of, and I'm hoping it doesn't do this, is um, sometimes with printables, gesso turns pink, and I don't know. It's kind of annoying. It doesn't seem to matter what color the paper is either. For some reason, it just pulls that red out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna get a brush. I'm gonna try to do some spatters and see if I can do it without making a complete disaster. Which I'm very good at. The disaster part, I mean. <laughs> I was making mushrooms the other day, and you guys will see them because I'm gonna try to do a digital, but um, <laughs> I had the biggest mess in the world going, I'm telling you. Trying not to get their faces a ton. I guess I could block her that her face. That would have been smart. Maybe we'll do a little of the silver as well. These work good to I always forget about on these fan brushes. And I have this one that I used to use to do this, and I just always forget. Alrighty, so I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry and we will back it, but I want it to dry. So right now, this is kind of what we got going on. I might add something else, I don't know yet. I wanna get it dry. And then we'll do the other one while that one's drying. It's always nice to have a backup so I don't have to stop and go and stop and go. Um, let me just wipe this to make sure there's not like a whole lot of wetness here. Okay, so this one I want to put, like I said, the snow fork on. I really like that. But we need a backing. This bit would be kind of cool. I think that might be good for a background. That's from my um, Winter Wonder one. <laughs> Winter Wonder digital download. Oh, Pasha. Pasha is in here with his stuffy nose. Maybe he has COVID. I don't know if they ever decided, can pets get COVID? I don't know. I don't know where he would have caught it, because we uh, we don't have it but yet. Anyway, he's just got allergies. He's a, he's a sensitive little kitty cat. I'm just going to, you know, I actually am not going to take any off of the top or the bottom, because see, it fits really well right now. And I kind of want to keep it like that, so I'm just going to rough up those edges instead. That way I'm not losing a whole lot of um, stuff. I'm just roughing it up. And if you have a tool that does that, I'm going to use that.
that is this is the one nice thing about having this room because uh, before you know when I was out on the landing out there the kids bathroom is like right next to it and so you guys could hear them if they in and out of the bathroom taking showers blah 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 you know I'm right there so I gotta work. I'll put some other stuff in there too to give it a little more color it needs more color good starting point yeah it is just slush 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 out there every time somebody drives by <laughs> I mean I'm actually happy because that means um, hopefully no more shoveling um, unless we get another cold snap but yeah it's just a mess right now <laughs> makes me happy we don't have to mow lawn or do any of that because <laughs> that if that snow melts is going to be way gloppy i don't mow lawn that is where i draw my line i'll shovel some snow but i usually make my son help me do that and my daughter was out there the other day too because she was if they have to work or something, obviously, I'm it, but, um, yeah, they've been helping with the shoveling, luckily. It goes real fast if you got, you know, all three of us doing it, it's like, boom, but... <laughs> Sorry, you're like, ah, what are you doing? I think I want a piece of this. This is just deli paper that has different paints on it. White and I think that's that iridescent blue that I have from Arteza and then the gold. It's just kind of a fun combination with the... I want to cover that all the way up there. Okay, let me see here. This needs to get inked. necessarily cover all of that. I like that. Maybe we can come this way. That would work. What else do we want on there? I don't know if I want any of this. There's like a little bench down here in trees with snow. It's kind of neat looking. Could kind of just come up the side maybe. With this. Yeah, maybe something like that would be good. Let me see. I'm looking at snowflakes if you're wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, I like that. Okay. This already kind of has a brown edge, but I'm going to go ahead and ink it anyway, because that's what I do. <laughs> don't have to if you don't like to do that. I am an Inca. I like to ink. Yeah, I think 
hold it like that. I'm just gonna crunch it a little or squish it a little, I guess. This is a sticky, icky mess. It's the only problem when you're doing big pieces, it tends to um, get yucky faster. Yikes. Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> make a big fat mess why don't we okay and now this piece and i don't know where how did i have that i had it like the other way huh like this so let's do that Push it a little bit and I'll put some of that uh, silver on there as well and where's my yeah we're supposed to have rain for it's supposed to be like 37 degrees pretty much for the next week even like down to only like 35, not even lower than that, which is kind of weird. And then just rain, 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 rain. That's more like November kind of thing. I mean, a little bit warmer in November, but not much and just rain. It's kind of weird for this time of the year. It's a little colder. Okay, I like that. I feel like it does need more, but I'm not, I just don't know what I want to put on there. Get rid of that. Hmm, do we want any more snowflakes? Are we tired of snowflakes? <laughs> I don't think I want one that big. Do the proverbial looking snowflake, the one that we all think of when we think snowflakes. I don't want anything very thick, like I'm looking at this, but it's gonna be in and out of that back pocket at the back of the journal. I don't know if that would be too thick, especially if I add like some buttons. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Got some more of this. That would be a little bit different. I like turn pieces of this off. That's just that um, wax paper. I mean, I'm sure you guys can see that, but is it coming apart right here? Yes. That's the only thing with the wax paper is sometimes it sticks together and sometimes it does not. So it is kind of a, I mean the um, embossing powder definitely helps hold that together so that it doesn't come apart. But it's always a little iffy there. This way, maybe this way. Yeah, I like that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna hook it on. Maybe some, oh, when I stitch around it, that'll help, it'll grab a hold of it. Just kind of put it where the, put some of this on here too. Always forget about glue stick, it's a handy thing. 
Well, I don't always forget about glue sticks. I use it constantly, but for things like this. I wonder if I heated that a little, if it would stick more, because it feels like, it, you know, I'm gonna turn this on, it's loud, so sorry, it'll be just a minute. If you kind of press those two pieces of the wax paper together, they've just gotten over the top of that snowflake and kind of stopped sticking. Or they may not have ever gotten melted very well. Right there. Okay, I think that's good, other than we're gonna do our painting part. Where did I put my... This, I want this again go around the edges, which also gives some dimension. And I, I don't want it to be, you know, like perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to give you kind of that feeling of, you know, snow. Go around this a little bit. And this is another place you can use the um, credit card, you know, and stuff like that. But I just thought that works. That works. Get some more of the silver for that little part that's textural. Nope, not that brush. Where's the other one? That one's too tiny. Before I dump that on the floor. Okay, um, let's see, I just, where am I going to put this brush? It has water in it, Amy, you can just clean it up. Okay, now I need to splatter that and then that needs to sit and dry. Oopsie, I get a little carried away. Probably got too much on here. Seems like if you don't though, it won't um, hardly spatter. It spatters so far away. I'm sure there's tricks to this. I'm not that great at it. I know toothbrushes work, but I tried that. Didn't have a lot of luck with that. I think it's just me. We're gonna let that one dry. And we'll check on the other one. I may have to pause for a minute and get them dry and then come back. Let me just check and see what the other one's like. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get these dry. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I am back. They're mostly dry. <laughs> so this one, I'm going to add a little something else to. Well, I'm going to add a little something else to both of them. But um, I like how this one turned out. I think I kind of ruined the other one. I, I mean, I think I might have sort of saved it, but I got a little carried away with that silver. So, but this one I'm putting, it says, um, oh no, this isn't, the, I didn't want to put this on this one. This snow fort one goes with the snow fort. So I'm going to put it right here. Because that is not a snow fort that they are, they are on sleds, right? <laughs> Durr. Okay, and then this is um, some blue music that I got from Amy, artist and crafter Amy. So I'm going to put that right there. Thank you, thank you, my dear. That was very cool. It, I, there was that one sheet that had the, the little bit of blue on it. So that's fun to put a little piece of that right here. And then um, probably no other words or anything on this particular one. I think it's good just like that. I like it. And the back of this one is um, the manila file folder, so I don't have to do anything else to that one. It's all ready to go. And then this one, I think I'm going to round the corners. If I can find, oh, it's right here. I just used it, right? I'm going to put rounded corners that just makes it go in and out of those uh, pockets easier it's not like it's necessary and I will be um, putting something at the top probably a piece of fabric just because uh, the whale tails might get bent because it might stick out a little bit from that back pocket so I just want it to be something that it can be bendy and then this is just a piece of that um, whatchamacallit doily that has that silver thread in it so I'm going to put a piece of that just right down here and I'll probably run a stitch through it just to sort of uh, try to flatten it out a little bit I like this side better and um, it'll get stitched over too which is good because that just helps hold it in place and that just gives it a little sparkle right there and actually I might go ahead and use the rest of that if I can figure out where I set it now I'm telling you guys no matter what I do and where how many times I clean this up, it's just always a mess. Well, I'll find it in a minute. Oh, it's right here. Um, I was thinking this might be cute up here or that other piece that was a little bit thinner. Just because it's got the sparkle and that would be cute sticking out at the top. And then this one we're going to back with um, this piece of paper. See, I added an extra snowflake there because I got too carried away with the silver. <laughs> so, yeah, that was... I don't know. I, I might wait to add this. I just want to make sure this is totally dry. I don't want to put it down on its face to put this on the back, but I think that's cute. And I'll have to round the corners of that because I didn't think about that. But yeah, those are my two cards. One's going to go in the back pocket. Like, you know, we put the um, cabinet card in the front pocket. We're going to put this one in the back pocket. And then this will go on the back of the journal and behind that flap where this one will go so yeah I hope you guys liked that I know it wasn't anything you know really new or exciting but um it's just gotta be done right get these journals done all right I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay warm and safe and healthy and all those good things and I love you guys and thanks so much for all your kindness and support you guys are just the sweetest and I love you we'll chat later bye